Hey guys, hay season 2023 is finally here. The mower arrived to cut our hay Monday. With this big 30 foot mower, it doesn't take long. This is the hay rake. It's shaped like a V and takes two swaths and collects them into one big windrow that can be picked up by the baler. Rolling Hills Farms has been making our hay for several years now. Dusty has always been looking for new ideas to improve things. He's been using these rake trucks for a couple years now. They are flatbed pickups with a hydraulic system added. Since these rakes are ground driven, there's really no need to use a tractor. These rake trucks do a great job. And here comes the baler. This is one of Dusty's two Kubota balers. It has rollers at the front with teeth on them that pick the hay up and transfers it into a chamber called the crop cutter inside the baler which has a series of knives that slice the hay stems into pieces. Once the hay has entered the baler, it's rolled up into a big spiral roll and then they wrap a plastic mesh net wrap around the bale several times to hold it all together. Once the bale's done, the rear door of the baler opens and the completed bale rolls out. Once the baler has a good head start, then our job begins. We have to collect and haul all the bales to the wrapping area, and then we have to wrap all the hay, which takes a while as we can only wrap about two bales per minute. Our hay wrapper is one of a kind. It was made by Hoover Welding and it can wrap both round and square bales. It's getting old and we have to work on it sometimes, but it still gets the job done. Where we live, it's almost impossible to make dry hay. We'll cut it and we'll let it dry out for a little bit, but we hardly ever have enough time to let it completely dry out. So instead of making dry hay, we make baleage. To make baleage, we wrap all the bales together in a long tube. The bales are sealed inside a plastic wrap, which allows them to naturally ferment. This makes a soft, moist hay, which our cows really love. It took us two days to get everything done, as some of our fields were too wet to rake and bale the first day. It is nice to get all the hay done in one day, but we enjoyed not being up all night hauling and wrapping. when we make it, the bales can weigh up to 1,500 pounds, and two of them together is about as much as our skid loader can handle. It's time to put the end cap on the last bale. An end cap is like a huge plastic trash bag that you stick over the end bale. Our wrapper uses a web to push itself forward, so when we set a bale on the web, it kind of grabs a hold of the bottom of the bale and uses the bale to shove itself forward. So, at the last bale, we have an arm that we can attach to the web that pushes the last bale off the wrapper. And just like that, First cutting is over.
GoPro, turn off. Is it? No, it's not recording. GoPro! <laughs> turn off right now! Ah!